Scotland hosts the trail for boats in the UK. It's called the Great Glen Canoe Trail. The trail goes from Fort William in the southwest to Inverness in the northeast. Sean and I will hike from Corpich Lighthouse in Fort William to the top of Neptune Staircase, then paddle the Caledonian Canal to Loch Lochy, camping at the Trailblazer site at Glass Dior. On day two, we finish Loch Lochy, tackle more of the canal, and then paddle the length of Loch Oik, rejoin the canal, and then paddle and camp at Fort Augustus. On day three, we tackle Loch Ness, by far the scariest bit of this trip, camping halfway down at the White Haven campsite. And on the final day, we finish Loch Ness and arrive at Inverness. This trail is over 60 miles of paddling and contains two very scary locks, Loch Lochy and Loch Ness. We've trained for it, we've prepped for it, but can we finish it? Let's find out. Just arrived at John's. Um, he's just loading his gear in the car now. We're going to cut back um, before we head off on our journey up to Fort William. About five and a half hours from the northeast of England here up Newcastle. A couple of beds in Fort William backpackers tonight. Just means we can get down, we can, we can check the place out, we can go and get our access key, we can check our launch point just, just by Neptune Staircase. Early start tomorrow. So it's just started, we're actually on the water now. It's quite sketchy getting on these uh, on and off these low pontoons, but we did it. First time I've ever done it, but we did it. The first eight miles of the canal was simply breathtaking. The surface of the water was so still, it felt like an actual crime to paddle on it. But we needed to make progress, so we pushed on. And yeah, you have to share the canal with everybody else. I'm sure this leads you on the lock now from here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So for uh, dinner, I've gone for the salmon and broccoli. All this water's made me one fish. It smells nice. The mirrors of the canal were abruptly taken and replaced with the waves of Loch Lochy. This was a true grit your teeth and keep paddling moment as I fought to keep the boat in a straight line. So at one of these trailblazer sites for the night, it's been a long day's paddle, we started at half ten-ish, it's now 27, however we found a nice a lovely spot that is down there, we shown. It's been a long day on Broken. It's morning of day two. Just bust camp because it was midgy hell. Uh, and we woke up on on this. We're gonna get some breakfast and uh, set off because we've gotta be down down that way there and then through some canals, through another lock. 
and then set up camp on the banks of another lock, Loch Ness this time. So yeah, day two. And we're off, day two. Coming at ya. Woo -hoo -hoo. We're on Loch Lochy at the moment. Uh, we have got a spittle of land and a tiny little puddle. There, we're on the canal, more portaging, more canal work. Then we're on Loch Oik most of the day. A bit more canal work. And then Fort Augustus for our uh, for tonight's campsite. Hopefully, we don't get any more wind like this yesterday because that was awful. That's Loch Lochy, done. The uh, Great Glen Canoe Trail kind of broke up into uh, little challenges on itself. One of them is paddling the length of Loch Lochy because it's so long the wind gets up and as we noticed yesterday. So that's us finished the first challenge really, first of the main challenges. Next one is what we start tomorrow, Loch Ness. Every now and then we get to stop and portage round. It isn't too bad actually, especially when you stop at places like this. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Yeah, that's a uh, locked bike done. Just quick to show you what we've been paddling. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, onwards. That's where we're heading now. Back on the canals. My hand feels like being on a box there. <laughs> On the entire trip, which would be nice to find the wheels away. I've been blessed with good weather today, though. Although it's a little bit windy now, it's not catching the water too much. Feel all right? A bit of wind coming through right now, gusting about eight mile an hour. You can't paddle in it. We, I mean, Sean's got a big almost sea kayak, and uh, the swell was going over the size of his boat. And I'm in a river boat. We just tried doing this from over here, just to here, and I was I've never been so scared. So weather forecast tomorrow looks okay, but. We need two days on Loch Ness, because Loch Ness is enormous. And the weather forecast on Tuesday is worse than this. Gusts up at 15 mile an hour. It's not worth the risk, it's just not worth doing it. Uh, so we're calling it a day here. We're actually going to camp here tonight. If my tent can handle it, we're getting picked up tomorrow. It is 35 mile past the halfway point. We'll come back and finish it one day, but... That is not the next two days. Just a shame. Kind of disappointed. 
I'm not carrying it by I'm really disappointed. I'm I'm lucky good at it. I hate everything to do. I hate the fact that this fucking lake's a mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna call it not because of weather. Where we're going, do you want to fancy a bit of a paddle around for it, Can do, yeah. We didn't go far, but might as well take advantage of this. I know. Wait till it gets windy, then just surf back in on the waves. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that man, that is f***ing unreal. How do, how do we know we've made the right decision? So when we're driving, driving back and we're, the car's getting buffered around. <laughs> so despite us not completing our goal, we have to take comfort in the fact that it wasn't because of anything that we could have done. Our fitness was never called into question. Our kit was up to the task. It was merely the weather that stopped. However, I did get to spend three days on Scotland's finest waterways with a really good friend, and that's a win in anyone's book. Oh, oh I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Until we return Scotland, we'll be back. Ready to record, Cross? Aye. Oh,